Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the king of fifth wheels. This one is an epic front living room. This is a 2022 Keystone Montana model 3761 FL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Montana and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you guys the king of fifth wheels, the Montana, for the last, what, 10 or 15 years. Super excited, super popular unit. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We are still here in the Austin area. Today we're at the Camper Clinic slash Airstream of Austin slash, slash uh, Explore USA of Buddha. Yes! Um, so they're changing some things around here, but um, depending on when, if you were to come here, when you come here, you know, the names could be one of the three. It's a little windy today, so yep. we'll try to hurry on the outside and do more on the inside. And well, the outside kind of stinks. It's the yes. inside that's amazing. Right. But the outside does look great. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is Montana 3761FL. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 41 feet long. The dry weight is 14,248 pounds, and that hitch weight is 2,880 pounds. Well, let's go on the inside. Okay. We'll do the inside first, then the outside. What the heck's going on with that wind, Dad? All right. Okay. Well, we're just gonna start right here in the front living room area. Okay. Look how beautiful this is. This is so impressive, guys. I absolutely love it. I don't know who came up with the first front living room, but Keystone did an amazing job. They did. Right here, we do have a TV on a televator. Okay. And the button's right Look here. Look at that, that's fast too. I hate the button right here. Yeah. But at least it is going fast. Like, look at me. Like, this is how I would have to sit. Right. Every time, and it, and it sounds, it's a first world problem, but it's still a pain in the butt. We got your JBL sound system there, your Interfame fireplace. Storage on that side. Storage on this side. Very nice. Yes. And then this front windshield. Get this up. All the way up. There it is. Well, Camper Clinic. You see it here? Camper Clinic. There it is. Also known as Airstream of Austin. Also known as... Explorer V Buddha. That's right. Right here we do got a nice tri-cushion, tri-fold sofa. Very nice balances. Daytime shades and privacy shades on the same unit. On the other side we have the exact same thing. The difference is, I'm going to put this one out. You know why, Will? Because of Texas. Because we're in Austin. That's right. And I don't know who Austin is. Check this out, buddy. Very nice tri-cushion, tri-fold sofa. Yes. And again, the other one comes out as well. There's a little gap on the middle that you can fill in with this cushion. So if you have an NBA player friend, <laughs> they can come camping with you as well. That's right. And then all you gotta do is flip this up, fold it, put it out of the way. And then we'll check out these uh, theater seats. Okay. Very nice theater seats here, right across from the TV Entertainment Center. Thomas Paine Collection. Yes. Why don't you have a seat in it? Okay. It's plugged in, so let's oh, see. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're fine. It does something. So the headrest goes back. Oh. Every which direction, lumbar support. Yes. And then, of course, probably the best position. Well, look how big you are. Your feet don't even <laughs> sit. That is so nice. It is. You comfortable? Yeah, it's nice. And then I think it's got like a, well, not that one, head tilt thing, something. Man, that's nice. Yeah. So you can tilt it up. You got cup holders there. Yep. Very, very nice. Power USB. And then while we'll, 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 we'll Will's getting that chair up, we're going to come on down here and check out this dinette area. Okay. Huge dinette. Big shout outs. This is my backpack, y'all. 
Big shout outs to, uh, hold this well, mm -hmm. to Petsy's. This is a Uni keychain. That's right. And we did not get that for free. We actually bought that because I love my Uni so much. This right is not here. a sponsorship. This is not a sponsorship. <laughs> Uh, but Lippert is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A uh, very nice dinette here. They do have the legs tied down in the okay. sheet. is about to go to a show, so we're not going to unstrap it. Nice flooring material. It's not carpet. Right. So many times manufacturers are putting carpet in. I can tell you right now, the dinette's big enough. You got daytime shades, privacy shades, Vanna White lights right there. Very nice. Yes, sir. And then Will. I don't even know where you... No, no, I'm, I'm going to go right here. Okay. Look at this beautiful half bath. Yeah. Check that out. Little paper towel oh, holder. Sorry, I'm showing you. Toilet there paper you holder. Go. Love this sink right yeah, here. Yeah, that looks nice. Show that for us. Okay. Nice storage up top. And, of course, a fan up there. Yes. And then pour some toilet wheel. And it is on an angle. Okay. Um, If you close the door for me. Sure. I mean, we need a judge's call. It could fail. For you, it would fail. For me, it passes. And the fact that it's a half... Like, if this was the main bathroom, I would fail it. Right. The fact that it's a half bath and it's still passing for me... This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very cool. nice. Okay, well, would you like to show us the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We are now partnered with RV Retailer. Yes. So we are nationwide now, guys. Camper Clinic. It's we got dealerships we don't even know the names of. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, make sure if you guys see this unit, Montana's are great. We sell them in many locations. Um, to go, Make sure to go to our website, mattrvreviews.com. Click one of the three tabs. Matt, myself, and our team, we're going to help you and uh, make sure you get taken care of. And this is the main thing, guys. Like, you guys will see me film a lot. Yeah. with a native from airstream of tampa right but if you live in texas guys we're gonna tell you to pick it up here right oh uh, we're gonna if you live in north carolina we're gonna tell you to pick it up there That's like right. we have so many different dealerships guys it's unbelievable again we don't even know the grass yeah so whatever right. you i don't care what you see that you like let us know that's right cool so over here some nice storage or like shelving up top here you got your ac controls there um, I guess you could do a little TV here. It's probably got a TV backer in it somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, a nice little coffee bar there. Be pretty hard to do a taco bar, but definitely coffee. Dude, do you hear this wind? Yeah. What's crazy. up with that? And it just started. But, like, it was windy on is Saturday. Is there something here, or is that just the... Yep. Oh, look at that. Nice buttons. Yep. I don't did think they go away anything. from the in command altogether? Maybe they did. Oh, thank goodness. So guys, listen, uh, Montana and Keystone had I'm this- I'm sorry, they don't do it in the, at least last time I checked, they didn't do it in the Alpine or the Montana, but I believe the Avalanche and the Montana High Countries do still use the in command. Interesting, I don't care if they did or didn't, I love that it doesn't have it. Give me tangible buttons. Right. Tangible, is that the word? Sounds right. Yeah, tangible is touch, yeah. Cool, storage up top there above the nice big GE refrigerator. Oh, gee, uh -oh. easy. I can get this quick. Come on. There we go. Nice refrigerator there. And freezer down below. Yes, sir. Well, please screw that back in. Yes. This so unit is going show. to a show. Did you show underneath here? Under oh, I did not. You I got it. it. Oh, yep. yes, I did. Did you? Show it again. Just we'll do it again. You know why? Because of Texas. Because of Austin. That's why. That's right. Perfect. Okay. Over here, more cabinet space. Yes, all sir. around the nice big convection microwave right there. Very nice. Good window right there. Nice. nice tower of power. Hey, oh my God, I forgot. Hey, that's a nice tower of power. It sure is. Um, good counter space right next to the Suburban three burner cooktop. Yes, sir. And oven right there. Very nice. With a little drawer underneath. Yes. Four more drawers right here. TST tire pressure monitoring system. And this is a Keystone. This is Keystone not Keystone doing that as well? Maybe they are. Man, TST's getting everybody locked right. in. Right, oh. we should have started should've bought a some, TST. <laughs> yeah, should have bought some stock in them. Okay, nice uh, faucet right there. I'm not crazy about the two-tone. Keystone does this in a lot of their fifth wheels. So you okay. do the small and the big sink, which I actually like. I like that. Solid surface countertops and solid surface inserts. Yep. Hey, Will. Yeah. 100 bucks right now if you could hold that out 
like this. Like that? For 60 seconds. No, I could, but I'm not doing it on camera. All right. Guess you don't want the Hondo. Okay. We are running out of battery life. We are. Okay. But yeah. I don't think Will could have done it. This is good, heavy material. Nice storage underneath. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you think Will could have done that for 60 seconds. Hey, that's a $104 trash can. That's right. And something real unique, Will, that I haven't seen on a kitchen island before. Yeah? Oh, right over here? Yeah. Nice little um, flip up. Yeah. It's okay. Should have made it flush, man. You had the space. Well, they did, or do it bigger like in JD's. Yep, yep, for sure. Okay. I think that's it, right? Cool. Uh, there is just one other thing. Oh, the pantry. Open the pantry space here. Yeah. Phenomenal, fantastic. Very deep. Yep, yep. I think I did forget to say too, everything's soft clothes in the kitchen. Ah, very nice. Coming on in here in the bedroom, we do have a nice king size bed. Look at this. I love what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Great headboard, three windows, storage above the windows like that. Good for a CPAP machine or cell phones. You got the power and the USB there. Okay. I'm loving it. Like McDonald's. Side by side washer dryer. Yes. And then, um, yeah, really nice. Good storage right there. Storage underneath there. Two extra spare chairs. There is a uh, centralized vacuum. Okay. Yes, and right over here, Will, we got more of this. Okay. Yes. Down there, six and drawers. Very nice, and they're all the same exact size. Inverted plug, that's awesome. Why Why is that awesome? Because it'll work off your um, solar. Yes, very nice. And then we do have three AC units. Yeah. And then coming on in here, Will, look at this. We got the dual sink. Right. Very nice. Mm. Those drains are getting in yeah. the way, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird, yeah. Nice storage there. Yeah, that's great. Pour some to toilet here. Please get in that shower, Will. Okay. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Jen, give me like a really big bing. Is that a good one? Oh, yeah. Okay, all one piece fiberglass shower. Wow. Which really like. Yeah. Nice and wide. Good ceiling height because they put the dome in the right sp spot. Uh, it's still gonna pass, but it is a little bit tight this way. Sure is. But it's, you know, it definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal approval. Well, yeah. Will, now it's time we're throwing everything up, mixing it up. Now we're gonna check out some of the exterior features. And again, guys, we sorry about the wind. Um, we didn't film on Saturday because the wind was bad, and today's Tuesday. And it wasn't this, it this bad this morning. Came out of nowhere. Right. But well, while we're headed on the outside, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring this yes, video. Let's continue the video. Right over here, we do got propane on the outside. Okay. Again, guys, this wind came out of nowhere. We apologize. Yeah, sorry if it's weird angles, guys. We're trying to block the wind. Right there, we got storage on the outside. Uh, right here is your solid steps, hydraulic assisted. Very there, nice. Yes, sir. We do got a very nice power awning with LED lights. One big one? Or no, two Two, awnings. okay. Yes. Frameless windows. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the saloons. I love those. ST 235-80 R16 with the Road Armor uh, suspension by Lipper. And then over here, Will. Wow, amazing Holy storage. Cow. That's crazy. Amazing. Six point hydraulic auto leveling. Speakers on the outside. And Will, these have these new handles that you like. Yeah. 
Look at that. Very nice. Coming on around the back, Will. I am sorry, America. One, it's windy. Two, that is a huge step. I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. And normally I would like climb up on Will. Guys, it's 100 mile an hour winds. I'm not gonna climb up on the roof. Uh, there is a solar panel on the roof. It's one piece TPO roof with three air conditioning units. And there is a hitch right here. I don't not, think it's rated. Not rated for towing, but it's good for a bike rack. Okay. Okay. And more storage right here. Crazy. Yes, sir. Oh. Coming on down the side here, Will. Here's the other side of that storage. Okay. Water heater on the outside. 50 amp service. We do got it all hooked up. This is going to be the other side of that storage. Okay. Freaking fantastic. Uh, this is where you're dumping your tanks, outdoor shower, and everything. And then. Here's all your water hookups and everything. Uh, winterization, city water connection, water filtration system, potable water, potable, potable. Well, well, let's go teleport on the inside. Well, well, that's it, that's the review. Thank you so much for everybody who's uh, bared with us through the weather. But before you guys leave, it's time to give you three things we love about the Montana, three things we dislike about it, Will. What do we do with first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Can I go first? Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm going up here. Every time I'm in a Montana, I hate the black AC in it and the black vents. This, it sticks out, y'all. Right. It's contrast. White ceiling, black things, you know? Sticks out like sore thumb. Uh, it would have been better if they were gray or white where they just blended in. Yep. You know, it's not a piece of artwork. Right. That's number one. Well, number two. Okay. For me, um, in this kitchen area, again, this is a really high end, big, full profile fifth wheel. And yes. I think they should have done that big insignia four burner cooktop. Wow. Well. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Disappointment. Right? Especially in this unit. Especially in this unit, yeah. So that's number two, and then we'll give us number three. Okay. Where are you going? I don't know. Daddy, right there. What's wrong with it? Oh, yeah. This is always kind of like a pet peeve of mine. Yes. I don't like how the um, um, toilet is like right next to where you're cooking. Yep. You know? And in a unit like this, I much prefer that being the huge pantry space. I do too. I, I will concur with that. Yeah. Well, well, that's three things we don't like yes. about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Okay. Would you like to go first or me? Uh, go ahead. Okay. I'm going back up the steps, America. Okay. Oh my like Rocky. Okay. First thing, I love the Televator. Yes. I love the front windshield. I love the Montana. They do such a great job with this. I think it's absolutely fantastic, and it's just my favorite feature, especially about a front living room like this. That's right. That's number one. Will, number two? For me, I'm going to say... You back here. Talk to me. Um, I think just kind of this in this whole space, they did a really good job. Yep. It's not a huge bedroom, but you have plenty of room to get in, get dressed, Plenty of closet space and wardrobe space and everything. And the bathroom is good size too. It's, so. it's great. Yeah. That's number two, Will. And then number three is going to be a little unusual. I am going to say this bed. Yes. King size bed. This is what I look for. I look for the king size bed. I like all three windows around. A nice headboard. And the storage up top here, Will, classy. I like the cabinetry in here. I like the wood fit and finish. And I just think it's fantastic. You, you know, know what time it is, Will? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I forgot about that. Yeah. MSRP on this Montana here is $136,913. Will, that is MSRP. Okay. Sale price, you think Explorer RV of Buddha selling it for that? No. Absolutely not. Not if they're a part of RV retailer. So if you guys are interested in this, Again, we can get you a lot better sale price than that. Go to mattsrvreviews.com. Will, 
What would you like to say? Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. The Montanas are great, super nice, high-end fifth wheels, and I absolutely love them. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much yes. for watching, and we'll, we'll see you next time.